No, you're finally awake. Don't move, little wolf cub. Not like you can anyway. <laughs> I made sure of it. Now, let me take a good look at you. Hmm, <laughs> I see. Huh, you seem to be much better now. Do you know where you are? Do you know what I am? No, it doesn't seem like you have any idea. Well, my dear little furry friend, you are in my home. And I, an eternal enemy. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you finally started to realize what I am. That's right, little wolf cub. I'm a vampire. And you're a werewolf. <laughs> you look properly terrified now. Shh. Relax. If I wanted to hurt you, I would have done so already. In fact, you should be thanking me you're still alive. You were quite hurt, you know. I nursed you back to health, my little wolf cub. Right, you must be wondering why in the nine hells have I done something like that. To be honest with you, I'm not quite sure myself. You see, I had my suspicions. But now that I see you in your human form, I can tell that you must be very young for a werewolf. It must have been your first time outside the nest. Where your kind is raised. Yeah. So stupid. Werewolves and vampires have been at war for thousands and thousands of years. No one even remembers why this war started. And yet, here you are. A puppy being sent to fight on a war. And no one even knows where it began. That's how you fight. You're strong. And fierce, and yet, I saw that you couldn't bring yourself to deal the final blow to any vampire. And that's how you got hurt. You have a kind heart, little wolf cub. If I had to give you a reason, I guess that's why I saved you. You're still looking at me with fear in your eyes. I know the stories your elders must have told you about vampires. Stories to make you make sure that you hate and fear us. I know it. Because they're the same stories we tell our new vampires. So they grew up to hate werewolves. But I want you to look at me properly. Just for a second. Just for a moment. Yeah, you're a werewolf. And forget that I'm a vampire. When you look at me like that, what do you see? <laughs> mm, the most beautiful man you've ever seen. <laughs> You're quite daring. Mm, little wolf cub. I don't remember the last time someone said something so nice to me. But yes, yeah, you're right. I guess I am beautiful after all, aren't I? <laughs> you have good taste, little pup. And you know what I see when I look at you. Very cute. Very beautiful, blushing little puppy. Yes, you. Beautiful. And you're quite the looker, you know. Now that you're on your human form, at least. <laughs> Uh, wasn't that nice though? No war, no hatred, just for a moment we were just a handsome man and a beautiful woman flirting with each other. Ah, uh, I wish more vampires would see that possibility too. But the current vampire queen hates werewolves with so much in her heart. And she has all the support of the big vampire families. But many of us. Smaller families are interested in peace. 
but as long as she remains as the vampire queen. But enough about that. I hope you can trust me now, at least enough to know that I will not harm you. I'm going to release you. Your tail must hurt from being on your back all the time. I know you can't hide it even when you're in your human form. But you need to promise me that you're going to behave like a good little pup. Promise me. Good girl. There. Much better now, isn't it? All right, sit. That's a good pup. Let me take a look at your face. I want to make sure you heal properly. <laughs> Everything looks good. Okay. Say, ah. Perfect. You look like a perfectly healthy wolf cub. In your eyes. I can't believe I've never looked at a werewolf's eyes this close. Yours are orange. What a beautiful color. And your hair looks so fluffy. Say, you don't mind if I touch your hair, do you? Although, I've heard it's something that werewolves consider very intimate. Is it okay if I do it? You don't mind. Are you ready, little wolf cub? Here I go. It's so soft. So... Very soft. I didn't know hair could be this fluffy. <laughs> Did you know? Your tail is wagging. <laughs> Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, you're such a good puppy. <laughs> there, there. You must have been very scared. It's okay. You're safe now. As long as I'm with you, no one will harm you. I promise. You don't need to go back to your pack. I can take care of you and protect you. You don't need to be afraid anymore. Not even the vampire queen could take you from me. <laughs> yes, you're such a good girl. Good girl. It was hard, wasn't it? I'm here for you, little Seeing you like this makes me feel like the war is truly pointless. If only we could show the small vampire families just how adorable werewolves can be. And we could show the young werewolves how kind vampires can be. Then perhaps ending this war won't be such a dream. And speaking of dreams, it looks like you're falling asleep. How adorable. It's all right, little wolf cub. I'm right here, and I will be right here when you wake up. Now sleep, little thing.